we are not going to see too much water here in Central Oregon as right now on our extended forecast we do not have a drop of water in sight. We are looking at dry and pretty much clear conditions. Maybe a few clouds here or there but really just not anticipating that we'll see very much. With those dry and clear conditions are also being we're beginning to see warmer temperatures. Today we were in those mid 90s for a lot of Central Oregon. Made it into triple digits in warm springs as well as in Medford. Now tomorrow we could be a little bit cooler, but there are other places in the state that look like they may be a bit warmer as far as Eugene goes and a couple places on the coast and maybe even two hours south. Before we get there, we do cool off a little bit tonight. Here's where we are right now in the 80s in a lot of central Oregon, 90 still in Redmond as well as in Warm Springs. When we cool down to our lows tonight, we will be above average. I guess that's kind of expected with how warm we were today. We're looking at temperatures in those mid 40s to mid 50s. If we had a few more clouds in the sky, we might stay a little bit warmer overnight. But for the most part, we're about eight degrees projected above average for this time of year. Then tomorrow we're looking at temperatures from 90 in Bend to 94 in Warm Springs. Now we're anticipating that we're going to have some wind tomorrow and that will help us stay a little bit on the cooler side and it could help us with this smoke. We have seen our air quality drop tonight as the smoke has moved through the region. You'll see here on the possible smoke. It does move out into the Redmond and Bend area. This could change for us if the wind shifts like it looks like it's going to, which will be a little bit more of a southerly breeze instead of the northerly winds that we've had the last few days. Right now, our strongest wind is eight miles per hour. Tomorrow, we could see 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 25. So hopefully that'll clear some of that smoke out and we'll get back to clear skies, both with clouds and with the smoke. Because I don't know about you, but I am tired of this smoke. Here's the high pressure system that we're watching moving across the tip of California. By Thursday, we get pretty close to this ridge and we should see this pass over us on Friday. How that impacts us is not with our skies because we stay clear, as you can see through that, but it does give us the opportunity to warm up on Friday. Here's a look at our allergy forecast. We are again at low tonight and the three-day projection on this is that it should stay low for us for the next couple of days, maybe even in about the next week or so, maybe a tiny chance to go up to moderate but we're really expecting that we're going to stay in the low range. With our temperatures, we increase until Friday, high 90s, cool off just a little bit through the weekend, and we begin our next week, Labor Day, in the low 90s.